Hi guys, it's Miss Russell and I'm ready to start our new project. Our new project is called a mosaic. So mosaics can be made in many ways. Ours is going to be a paper collage glue mosaic. But over here, one of the types of mosaics I like to do a lot in the studio, this one is a stepping stone mosaic. It's actually made of concrete. Um, and we do it all kinds of different ways. These ones here um, have some beads in it. And then these little pieces of plastic, colored plastic. And then we pour concrete over the whole thing. But this one right here, if you look how shiny it is, that's because some of it is actually made out of glass. And then we even put some buttons on there um, to complete that particular mosaic. So stepping stone mosaics. Uh, and we're gonna do a paper mosaic. Our mosaic is going to feature something called radial symmetry. Now we've talked about symmetry a few different times. Symmetry, that's where if you have a shape or anything and you draw a line or cut it, whatever you wanna say, but if you were to take it right down the middle, everything that's over here matches what's over there. Color, shape, all of that. That's called bilateral symmetry because bi means two, lateral means side. So that's bilateral symmetry. Today we're gonna to talk about radial symmetry. Radial symmetry, that's where you're gonna be able to divide this multiple ways. So if we divide our creation through the center, everything that's up here matches down there. So we could do up and down, that's vertical, back and forth, that's horizontal. But then we have two more ways that we can divide this. We can divide it um, diagonally. And once again, what's over here is gonna match. And you can divide it diagonally this way too. Uh, we are focused on creating some kind of snowflake. Your snowflake, of course, does not have to look like mine. You'll get to come up with your own. I encourage you to get a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, go grab one because you're gonna want it. Here's another uh, snowflake design. It hasn't had the uh, mosaic pieces. That's what all this colored paper is. It hasn't had the mosaic pieces glued down on it. This is kind of step one. So I'm gonna draw one with you before we actually cut and glue. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. How's that? The first thing I want to do is to come up with a shape that's going to be uh, in the center of my paper. You can see um, for this one, let's see, it's a six sided shape. What is the name of a six sided shape? Hexagon. If it was an octagon, it'd have eight, but this one has six. Um, so I chose a hexagon for the center. I don't know, maybe I'll just choose a circle. And then over here, well, this one's um, two different shapes put together to create it. Please draw with pencil. I'm gonna draw with a marker so that the camera can see it. But right in the middle of my paper, maybe I'll keep it super simple on this one and I'll just go for a circle. And then the best you can, create it right in the center of that paper. I like to rotate my paper when I'm drawing circles so I can get it a little more round. If I had a pencil, I'd really work on getting that circle more round. But since I'm drawing it with marker, I'm just gonna let it be not quite as round as I'd like. The next thing I'm going to do is to Divide it vertically. I'm gonna kind of eyeball it. Oh, that's gonna be about my center. I'm gonna take it. There's my first line. There's vertical. Here's gonna be my horizontal. Doesn't have to be perfect, just do the best you can. I 
I like my um, vertical and my horizontal lines to be longer than my diagonals that I'm going to add. All right, so now I have my snowflake all divided up. And I want to think about adding some interest to it with shapes at the bottom of each of my lines. So this one, you could think of it as a diamond. Or if I turn it this way, it might look like a square. I've used some triangles. Keep it geometric, whatever you choose. I think for my diagonal ones, I'm going to use circles again. Now, everything that happens here has to happen here and here and here. So if I put a circle there, then all of these have to have a circle too. It's repeated. Hmm, let's change this one up. So instead of doing a diamond, I think I'll put uh, a triangle at the end, might look kind of like an arrow. But I've got more room to add more designs to this. I could come back through here and maybe I'll add an extra little line to each of these. Maybe I'll come back through here and add some straight lines. You do not have to draw what I am. I'll continue my circle theme. I could go on and on adding more designs and details to this, but I want you guys to come up with your own ideas. Once you have your snowflake design, the radial design, so it's repeated, this should all match each of the slices. Then it's time to turn it into a mosaic. When we turn it into a mosaic, we are going to use colored construction paper, but if you don't have colored construction paper, you've got a few choices. One, find some magazines. Cut the magazines up into piles of color. Or you can take white paper and color it with crayon and then cut it up to use in this um, mosaic collage. Collage means cutting and gluing. We want our pieces to be small. Make sure your pieces have spaces left in between. Mosaic pieces should not touch each other because if this was a true mosaic, um, like the concrete one, well, the concrete needs to get around all the little pieces to hold it in place. Traditionally, mosaics were uh, made with something called grout. You'll actually find grout in most bathrooms. The tiles um, are grouted together. And that grout has to get all the way around to hold your pieces down. So the first thing I want to do is to choose a color that I'll put on my lines here. And I think I will go with purple. I'm going to take my purple and I'm going to cut a very small thin line off. Now, don't crumble up your extra paper. Just put it back into the tub or off to the side. You might use it later or in a different project. I'm just gonna take this one piece and cut it into really small pieces. The smaller, the better. If I fold this in half. And then cut, I'm gonna cut two at once and get through it faster, right? Once you have it all cut up, 
Use dots of glue, itty bitty dots of glue, instead of lines of glue. Because if I put a line of glue over this, all my little spaces, I wouldn't be able to erase the pencil that's there because the glue would seal it. I don't wanna do that. But if I put little dots, then I will be able to erase it. Now, I obviously won't because I drew with marker, but you guys drew with pencil. So once it's dry, you'll be able to erase it. It won't be dry today, you'll have to wait. But take your little pieces. Your hands will get pretty gluey as you're doing this. Every now and then, I just rub my fingers together and get the glue off. I want you to take your time. When you're gluing your pieces down, leave tiny little spaces in between all of them. Start with your horizontal and your vertical. Make them to match. Then switch to your diagonals. You could choose a new color there, but this diagonal should match that diagonal. And slowly cover all of your pencil lines, all of your shapes with, with your colors. Repeat colors so that it is still symmetry. Please send me your work either through Artsonia or on our Google Classroom. And I look forward to finishing this with you um, next week. We are gonna finish it a little different. We're gonna be using um, your regular shapes. So once you get all the pencil lines covered, just go ahead and put it to the side and wait till next week and I'll talk to you about the different irregular shapes we'll use to fill in uh, around our snowflake. Thanks for creating with me.